What is going on people of the internet? Cool Trainer Crow here. Today I am coming at you with a top 5 video. Now this top 5 video will be about 5 Kanto Pokemon I believe should get Mega Evolutions in the next Pokemon game. Now I felt this video was appropriate with all the Pokemon Z talk floating around. If you haven't heard the rumors, Pokemon Z is apparently, putting that in air quotes, the next game to come out. I would like to remind you guys that this is all my opinion, so if you have a Pokemon that is not on the list, put it in the comment section below. So let's get right into it. Coming in at the number 5 spot is Ninetales. This Pokemon has always interested me. If I didn't pick Charizard in the Pokemon Red or Blue, I would usually pick up a Vulpix or Growlithe, because those are two solid Fire-type Pokemon. Now this Pokemon is still usable without a Mega, but I still think it would be cool to see if it got a stat buff in Special Attack and Special Defense. This thing would become an absolute monster because of the ability Drought. If you did not know what the ability Drought is, it turns the playing field into intense sunlight which ups fire type moves and reduces water type moves. If Ninetales did get a Mega, I would hope its design would be as luxurious as its normal form. Now I say luxurious, but Ninetales just has this look of cockiness to it, and it just looks a little stuck up, but I like that about this Pokemon. Number 4 on my list is Jinx. Now I've never really enjoyed the looks of Jinx, but I really like using it in playthroughs. I think its type diversity is very unique and useful. Now I know it has so many weaknesses, but Jinx is known as a glass cannon. It won't take many hits, but it'll hit you hard. It's not fair that Electabuzz and Magmar got evolutions, but they forgot all about Jinx. Because Electabuzz and Magmar got Electivire and Magmortar, if they could just make Jinx's design just a little less creepy, that would just be fine in my book. Now I wouldn't expect them to buff Jinx's defense because it's almost unsavable. I don't think that's a word. But if you bump up the special attack, speed, and special offense, this thing would be getting talked about a lot more. The third Pokemon on my list is Dragonite. Now you're thinking, hold up, did he say Dragonite? The thing is already OP. Yes, I said Dragonite. And who cares if it's already OP? It deserves a Mega. Let's take a look at the Gen 3 and Gen 4 counterparts. Salamence and Garchomp got one, so why not Dragonite? If it did get a Mega, it should keep its multi-scale ability, which is perfect for this Pokemon. Throw on weakness policy and eat up an Ice Beam and GG to your opponent's team. I really don't want Dragonite to get a Mega for the stat buff. It's just because I want it to get a sick redesign. I feel like it should get some sort of armor, and it would just look pretty badass. Coming in the number 2 spot is Arcanine. There is no other reason for why I think this Pokemon should get a Mega Evolution other than because I just love this Pokemon. I can't believe it's taken Game Freak this long to give this Pokemon some love. If you didn't know, Arcanine was supposed to be a legendary Pokemon. Crazy, huh? Now let's sit back and just enjoy the, how this artist made Mega Arcanine look like a prince. It's just, it looks royal. The artist didn't even have to go overboard because it already looks awesome as a normal Arcanine. Arcanine doesn't really need much sprite remodeling, but I would like to see what they could do with it. Maybe if they gave it a defense and attack buff and gave it the reckless ability, it would be even better. Now reckless is an ability that would raise the attack power of moves that give damage to yourself, like flare blitz and wild charge and etc. And finally, the number one spot is Tauros. Tauros overall is kind of a forgotten Pokemon. People don't really use it much in competitive battling. If you put a Choice Scarf on it, it is very scary. I like how it has a, such a diverse move pool, such as Zen Headbutt, Iron Head, etc. I know I got off a little off topic, but people need to know Tauros' power. And look at this fan-made art of Mega Tauros. Oh my gosh. If Game Freak made Tauros, look like this, it would probably automatically become one of my favorite Pokemon. Ah, it just looks so powerful. So Game Freak, you might want to take some notes on this Mega Tauros. I think this fake Pokemon has just jumped to the top of my list as my favorite Pokemon, even though it's not real yet. But Game Freak, get on top of that. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to do a Johto version of this video, comment right down below. Take a look at all the artist sprites down below, all the people that created it. This is not my artwork, so I did give credit to the people down below. And make sure to put your top five in the comment section below. Have a great day. I'll see you guys next time.